Hello, hello. Welcome to Heal and Ascend to Row. So today we're doing a pick a card reading for how do they feel now that you're gone. Okay, so this could be your soulmate, your twin flame, maybe a karmic, um, whoever it is that you're thinking about. Just take a moment to think about it. Okay, so we have pile one, which is lapis lazuli. One sec, guys. Sorry. Okay, sorry. So pile one is lapis lazuli, pile two, citrine, pile three, amethyst. Okay. So just take a moment to meditate on that. All right. What pile resonates with you the most? So how they feel now that you're gone. So we're going to start off with the lapis lazuli. So I'm just going to pull these to the side. All right. So for those of you who chose pile number one, lapis lazuli, let's take a look. How this person feels about you now that you're gone. Getting to know each other, being apart has been life-changing for me. Strength, five of swords, assurance, that's interesting. Three of swords, heal, which is the star, the throat chakra, and resentful. Okay, interesting. So, <laughs> All right, guys, the reason why I'm kind of laughing here is I wasn't expecting to get this kind of reading first off, right off the bat here. So how this person is feeling now that you're gone? Well, first of all, they are heartbroken, okay? We have the Three of Swords here, and this card specifically talks about sadness and isolation. So they are heartbroken. I do see here with the Star card, though, that they are healing from this. Okay, so they are starting to heal from this. Um, I'm getting a sense that this person is starting to find their strength again. Okay, for whatever reason, I feel that for those of you who have picked this, and it could be reversed, so just be aware of that, the rules could be reversed, but what I'm seeing here is that you broke their heart, okay? You have deceived them. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. So I'm getting a sense that even if you don't feel like you've done something, in a way, they feel like you have betrayed them. So say, for instance, maybe they were doing something wrong to you, but you were the one to, to walk away. In that sense, they could have felt that you betrayed them, okay? Because that's how they're feeling. They're feeling like you've betrayed them. Um, now, there is some resentment here, okay? That's why I say that. Because they're feeling right now indignant, offended, and bitter towards you at this time. What's interesting, though, is they do want to communicate with you. We have the throat chakra. So, even though you're gone and they're heartbroken, they do want to communicate with you, but I'm getting with the strength card, they're holding back, okay? But there's a sense of them wanting this assurance from you. Maybe assurance that you're still there, that you still care. Um, you know, being apart, as they said here, has been life-changing for them. I'm getting a, a sense that this person is having a hard time breaking the chains, you know, breaking the vibrational chains with you, um, because they did really care about you, okay? I feel you and this person did, you knew each other, maybe not on a super deep level, because I have the getting to know each other card, so I feel that you probably had a connection with this person, maybe you dated them for a little while, but I'm not getting a long-term thing here, so I'm not really sensing, and I you know, could be wrong, but I'm not really sensing something that was super long-term, but enough to the point where they could be betrayed by you, okay? So for instance, maybe you dated for under six months or something like that, um, where you did get to know each other, but not to the degree where you would have, say, you were married for 10 years, okay? So, again, this person is still healing. They are sad that you're gone, but they're more so resentful. They're more so bitter about it at this point in time. So, I'm just getting a sense this person has more healing to do. But even if you notice here, um, closely around the throat chakra is... is um, presented here so there is something here about this person once they heal I do feel like they would want to communicate with you so if you're thinking about communicating with this person probably not a good idea right now I would give it some time I would give it some time I'm getting a sense that the wounds are still fresh for this person here they're still feeling a sense of betrayal okay and they're holding back right now and also too this person is kind of trying to find their strength after the loss of you okay for those of you who have picked this pile, I'm definitely getting a strong sense that you've probably walked away from them or you betrayed them in some way. Okay. You did bring a sense of comfort to them that they miss. They do miss the comfort that you brought to them. 
but I feel that they're going through a lot right now. Being apart from you has really been life-changing, so they're definitely going through a lot. And I think in time, give this person, yeah, maybe give this person even a few weeks to a month, because they're still resentful. You know when you've been hurt by someone and you don't want to talk to them and if they reach out to you, you're probably just going to block them anyways? That's what I feel like would happen here. So in time, this person might even show signs that they've healed or that they've forgiven you. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. So for those of you who pick this pile, maybe you're not wanting to communicate, but for those of you who are, who are thinking about it, it's just kind of a warning. Okay, they might just end up blocking you. So they're still hurt. They're heartbroken that you're left. They feel betrayed by you and they've it, it's really been life changing so okay so that was pile one so let's take a look at pile two all right so for those of you who picked pile two we have a citrine we have playfulness so how do they feel now that you're gone i can still feel you the five of wands the hermit <clears throat> make a decision okay the crown chakra the base chakra three of wands take the lead oh i see where this is going and hopeful okay wow interesting this person wants you back let's just get right into it if you pick this pile this person is making a decision right now to get you back um you know they feel they feel hopeful about it so they are they do have hope and they're optimistic about getting you back here this person recognizes that they have to take the lead okay three of wands they're planning they're planning things. They want to take the lead. This person feels like they can still feel you. Okay? So you haven't really left their memories here. They can still feel you. They think about you a lot. With this Hermit card, they're definitely doing some soul searching here because a decision has to be made. Make a decision. Which I'm going to clarify for this pile specifically. So if you pick pile two, you get a little extra bonus because... I get curious and I want to know what is this decision about okay you probably already know but let's clarify and see right now they're planning to make a decision here they're hopeful about the future with you they want to recapture the romance so now that you're gone they're missing you they might feel like in order to come back towards you though that there would be some competition because I'm seeing the five of wands okay you definitely have a spiritual connection with this person but I'm also seeing that you ground this person as well, okay? And I feel like this person that you're thinking about is recognizing that, that you are someone that brings joy and happiness to, the, to them on many different levels, okay? Not just spiritually, but physically, um, emotionally, okay? You, you bring a lot of happiness to this person. And that's why they can't really forget about you. I can still feel you. Okay, for whatever reason, I feel like you and this person might have left on pretty good terms because for, they are hopeful about it. Okay, you know when you separate from someone and you, you, like, you leave on really bad terms, kind of thinking that there's no way this will happen? You guys must have left on somewhat of good terms because they are hopeful. They just know that they have to make a decision, which we're going to clarify right now. What is this decision about? So pile two, this is a good pile. They're, they're feeling good. I mean, not, not good that you're gone. They're actually sad that you're gone, but they're feeling like they want to make a decision about you and come towards you to recapture things. What is this decision about? Oh, yeah, King of Cups. This person loves you, okay? So pretty much this, the decision for this person is whether or not to just give you their all emotionally. Look at that, the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups. So you're a wish fulfillment for this person, okay? So, yeah. If you pick this pile, they're wanting to recapture the romance. The only issue here, I feel, is they might be worried that there is some competition or maybe that was the struggle in the past is that there is competition. So whether this person has someone else or they feel like you have someone else, I'm getting that there could have been or still could be multiple people involved and that's what the issue was around making a decision. But this person seems very clear that you're the person that they have this strong emotion for and they want to take the lead and they're very hopeful about it. So I would expect to hear from this person pretty soon. Um, they might need a little bit more time just because they are in this hermit mode still doing some sort of soul searching but this person I feel like now that you're gone they've just realized your worth they've realized who you are and they want to be with you and they're just making some sort of decisions or they're planning things right now so through this time of separation with this person they they still think about you daily okay all right so 
I hope that was helpful. We're gonna move on to pile three, which is the amethyst. All right, so give your relationship a chance. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to, how they feel now that you're gone. Wow, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this poor person. I never feel sad, but I feel really sad right now. Okay, let's see. I mean, not that I never feel sad, but I never get so emotionally invested and I'm actually really feeling emotionally invested in this. Oh, okay. All right, guys. So for those of you who pick this pile, this person has never met anyone like you before. They've never met anyone like you, okay? You're the empress to them. Okay, you're the empress. Um, what I'm seeing though is they have a lot of anxiety. They have a lot of fear. I feel this person is very scared about being vulnerable with you because they put you on this pedestal as the empress. Okay, we have the vulnerability card here. Okay. We also have the temperance card, which is a very twin flamey like energy. So seeing the temperance card um, and the empress, this could definitely be twin flames here or soulmates, okay? Highly, highly possible. They daydream about you a lot. <laughs> With the nine of swords and the seven of cups, they daydream about you a lot. We have this eight of cups here, right? So this is about walking away though. This is about moving on. So I think for a while, this person, when you when you guys went into some sort of separation, maybe they walked away from you. Yeah. I think this person walked away from you. But what's interesting is it's not because they didn't want to be with you, okay? They didn't want to be vulnerable with you. That's all. That's the only reason why this person walked away. So I'm actually getting a sense that they're regretting this. So now that you're gone, they're regretting their decision to walk away from you. For some of you, maybe you did walk away from them and they just continued to as well, like they didn't fight for it. But for most of you, I'm feeling that this person actually walked away from you because they were feeling vulnerable. They didn't want to feel those feelings, so they just decided it'd be easier to leave the connection. They're watching you a lot. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to, so they're watching your social media. Uh, this person is very, very in love with you, okay? If they haven't said it yet, they're feeling it, they're thinking it. There's something here that has happened, though, where they are feeling kind of repelled by something, all right? They're a little repelled by something here. I am going to get a clarifier as well for this. So let's see, what is this? Because this is interesting because we have very positive energy and then we have disgusted. So I just want to clarify, but they do want to give the relationship a chance. So now that you're gone, they're wanting to work on this partnership. Yeah, this person loves you, but you make them very nervous. That's the thing. I think this person, um, when they're around you, they don't know how to calm their nerves. They don't know how to calm their nerves. It's very interesting. Okay. Yeah, so this is, okay. You're dealing with someone who's got a very, very strong fear of intimacy, okay? They care about you a lot, but when it comes to the thought of commitment, stability, this is a subject area that makes them feel kind of queasy, makes them feel kind of nauseous. And what's interesting about this is they, okay, this, is, this reading is going a little bit deeper than probably the other ones. Hold on, let me get one more clarifier. This one might be a little bit longer, guys. They definitely have a fear of intimacy. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. The devil and the four of wands. So the devil talks about addictions. It talks about fears. Um, so you actually could have been dealing with someone as well who had an addiction and they knew they couldn't bring any stability to this connection. So they might have even been disgusted with their own behavior. Okay, they could have been disgusted with their own behavior. For some of you though, I am getting a sense that this is a fear of intimacy that they haven't let go of, okay? To the point where it's actually very toxic for them. It's very toxic. This is someone who could probably push a lot of people away just because they haven't healed that aspect of themselves. There's this vulnerability that seems to really scare this person, okay? And instead of being vulnerable, they'd rather just push everyone away and be on their own. 
okay? Or maybe they go into other toxic connections. So yeah, this person could have actually, oh yeah, for some of you, this person could have walked away and went into another relationship, maybe just a sexual lustful relationship or maybe back to an ex. They went into another relationship for some of you, okay? And they're feeling disgusted with themselves because they, they see that you're the person that they wanna be with. And they're recognizing that the only reason why they're doing this or they're acting in this way is because of their fears, because of their anxieties, because of their inability to be vulnerable with someone that they really care about. So I do feel that now that you're gone, they are feeling a little bit more balanced emotionally because they have that separation from you. But they think about you a lot and they have some decisions to make here. Okay, but this person daydreams about you a lot to the point where they then end up looking up your social media to see what you're doing. They watch you a lot. So if you don't want them watching you, I'd make your account private, but they watch you a lot, okay? And they wanna work on this. Now, are they going to? That's a whole other story and that's probably when you book a personal reading because this is just a general reading, but this person just, they do want to work on the partnership. Um, it doesn't mean that they're going to, but they want to. That's what they're thinking now that you're gone, okay? And I am seeing a sense of regret that they walked away from you in the first place because they do put you up on a pedestal, okay? They're just, they have some fear of intimacy. Some of them are disgusted with the fact that maybe they cheated on you or they did something else or they jumped into another connection right after. They're feeling a little disgusted with their own behavior and they're still needing to find balance. I'm also, I'm also getting to what's interesting is this person ha feels like they've done so much wrong. They've done so much wrong to you that they, they're not even sure if you would look at them the same. That's really what I'm getting. They're not sure if you would look at them the same. So that's what a lot of their fears are about too, is if they were to approach you, would you even look at them the way you did in the past? They're not sure. Maybe some of you would say, yeah, I would, but they don't feel that way. Okay, they feel a lot of regret for what they did to you. They're very disgusted by their behavior. Okay, so give this time, this person time, kind of what I've been saying for all the piles, but they need to come into balance, okay? This is definitely a spiritual connection is what I'm seeing here with the balance and the empress though. Very spiritual. All right, so that's what I have for you. So I hope this was helpful. If you wanted to book a personal reading, you can go down below. All right, so I am sending everyone love and light and I wish you all of the best on your journeys. Bye.